In this assignment, we will learn about audio normalization. You must understand what the normalize effect does to be a true master of audio editing. Normalize effect is a way of controlling the loudness after recording. The most important concept about the normalize effect is that it controls the loudness. That means the audio can become louder or quieter after applying a normalize effect. If you have already used the normalize effect before, and you think that the normalize effect only increases volume level, you actually do not understand it. You can see two waveforms on the screen. Notice the difference between these waveforms. The waveform in the top track has less height than the waveform in the bottom track. The taller the waveform, the louder the audio will be. That means the audio in the bottom track is louder than the top track. I will now apply the normalize effect to these tracks one by one. To apply Normalize Effect, select everything inside the track by double-clicking, and go to the Effects menu. You will find the Normalize Effect inside Volume and Compression. As I said before, the purpose of Normalize Effect is to control the volume of audio. We control the volume level by setting the peak amplitude. You can see an input box about setting the peak amplitude. I will set the peak amplitude to minus 3 dB. I will explain in a bit why I use minus 3 dB as the peak amplitude. I will apply these settings. The waveform grew in height after normalizing. As the waveform height grew after normalize, it means the audio has become louder after normalize. Let's see if the same thing happens to the second track. You should be able to tell if normalize will increase or decrease the audio even without applying it. Only then you truly understand what normalize is doing. After completing this assignment, you will be able to tell that. I will move the configuration window to better see the waveform. Like the first track, I will normalize it to minus 3 dB. We just saw the waveform height decrease after normalize. On the top track, the height increased after normalize, but the opposite happened on the second track. Decreased height means the volume level decreased after normalization. We must understand when the increase or decrease happens in normalize. It is fundamental to volume control. To understand that, only one track is enough. I will cross out the other recording. Normalize always happens with respect to the current peak. To check the current peak of the audio, you will need the ACX check tool. I hope now you have installed the ACX check tool. If not, please do it immediately, or let me know if you are facing any issues when installing the ACX check tool. The ACX check tool shows three metrics from the audio. We can see the current peak of this audio is now at minus 3 dB. Also, note the RMS level and noise floor level. There is a mathematical difference in the way the peak and the other two numbers are calculated. The peak is just one specific number, but these two are kind of average numbers. However, mathematical differences in calculation are not important to us. We mainly try to understand how these values change when we apply the normalization effect. I have written down the current level on the side of the screen. I will normalize this audio again, but with a different value. Last time I used minus 3 as the peak value to normalize. This time I will use 0 dB to normalize. If I pause here and ask you, what will happen to the waveform? Will it increase or decrease? The answer depends on the current peak. The current peak is minus 3, and I am setting the new peak to 0. That means I am increasing the peak by 3 dB. The waveform should increase in height after normalizing. I will apply it, and the height increased. That means my analysis was correct. I will check the ACX values now. The peak is 0 dB as I set that in the normalize effect. But observe what happened to the other two values. The RMS and noise floor also increased by 3 dB. Previous readings are still on the screen. It is very important to understand that when the peak is altered through normalize, other parts also get affected by the same amount. An increase in peak means an increase in other audio levels too, even in the noise level. In other words, the peak, RMS, and noise floor are interconnected. If you change one, others get affected too. I will note the current ACX readings on the screen and will experiment further with normalize. Please note that we are applying the normalize effect multiple times to understand its function better. You will not need to normalize repeatedly on the same recording. Correct normalization technique is the key to producing ACX standard audiobooks, so I am putting so much emphasis on this. I will apply normalize again. This time with another value. Let's say I want to normalize to minus 5. You should be able to tell if the height will increase or decrease. The current peak is 0 dB, and I am setting the new peak at minus 5, which means there will be a decrease of 5 dB. If you do not understand this, please watch this video again. Because if you don't understand how normalize is affecting the volume level, you will not be able to edit audio correctly. I will check the ACX values now. If you do the math, the readings are as it should be. I hope now you understand when the volume will increase or decrease in normalize effect.
There is another important thing about normalize effect. If you apply the normalize effect with the same current peak, it will have no effect on the audio. I will apply normalize effect with minus 3 dB. The current peak is minus 5, so the volume will increase. We could see the change in the waveform. We can also be sure about this new peak of minus 3 from the ACX check tool. What will happen if I apply normalize with minus 3 dB again? The current peak is minus 3, and I am applying another normalization with minus 3. That means there will be no change in the waveform. Because there is no change in the peak value, hence no change in any part of the audio. It does not matter how many times you normalize with the same value. Your audio will be unaffected. Of course, there is no reason to apply normalization when we do not want to change the peak value. But you should understand that if the peak is not changed after normalize, other parts of the audio will also remain unaffected. I have seen people working on audio editing for a very long time, but do not understand the normalize effect properly. It limits their ability to post-process the audio, as it is a core concept of audio editing. Your assignment is very simple for today. Please open the project you did for assignment 1. Check the reading through the ACX check tool and send me a screenshot of that recording. Then, normalize it to minus 3 dB and send me another screenshot of the ACX readings. After normalizing, listen to your audio. Did your volume increase or decrease after normalization? You are watching a video sample from my 14 assignment audiobook editing crash course in Audacity. If you are into professional voiceover, this crash course will help you too. You can get this crash course from this Buy Me A Coffee page. If PayPal is your preferred payment method, then you can enroll from the Patreon page. After enrolling in the crash program, you will get 14 assignment emails. Each email will also have a video link like the video you just saw. This crash course will give you free access to the Audacity bundle that has two regular Audacity courses. But how this crash program is different from regular courses? Well, this crash program is a learning by doing program. You watch a video, complete an assignment, and send it to me. I will tell you what mistakes you made, and you will correct them. This way, you will learn better and faster, and you will get feedback from someone experienced in the field. It is a complete learn at your own pace and time program. You decide when to complete the assignment and send it to me. People successfully published audiobooks on Amazon by following this method. If you are into audiobooks or professional voiceovers, this crash course will remove all your production worries. You will find links in the description and pinned comment, join the program now to claim free bonuses.